Hi, it's Jen, and I'm going to do a process video. This is the first one on my scrap menagerie. I just kind of wanted to let you know what I think about as I work through a layout. And this one is for a challenge from CSI, Colors, Stories, Inspiration. I'll leave the link to their website in the description below, and you can check them out. Uh, so first, they want you to use the colors in your layout and use, I think, three evidence items and a, one, at least one testimony item. And, but now they've changed it up so if you don't want to use any of these, you don't have to. You're just getting inspiration basically from this picture here and maybe the colors too. Um, but I decided I wanted to fit as much of this whole page on my layout as I could. So I looked at the photo and it kind of, well, the, the illustration, and it kind of made me think of a nautical theme, not so much a winter theme, but nautical. I kind of looked at the colors and that just said nautical to me. So. I thought first, what can I use for a photograph? What do I have of, her, of a photograph that is a nautical theme? And it just so happens at Christmas time, I got my husband a gift, a t-shirt from this fishing group called Hard Merchandise. And they sent a photo along with the t-shirt. So I thought I'm going to use that. So first we wanted to have our 12 by 12 canvas here. And I'm not going to walk you through how to use Photoshop. Um, if you're interested in that, you can let me know in the comments below and I can do some more videos on digital scrapbooking. But today we're just going to walk through my process of how I think as I create the layout. So here we go. First we start out with our plain canvas. And we need the photo. And there we go. There's the hard merchandise crew. And I like the colors because there's some of the yellow and the greens kind of in the wood there. And I thought, okay, so background paper. What makes me feel like a, what feels like a nautical theme? And I thought maybe a wood grain. So I tried a wood grain paper and uh, it's a bit too dark. So then I looked at the colors, the color scheme for CSI and it had an off white. So I put an off white brushwork on the wood to see if that would help. And eh, not crazy about it, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and work on the layout and we'll figure out this background later. So next is some paper. I wanted to use a mustard color paper and we're going to put that there. Now, I chose a stripe and this tear is a digital file that I got from Scrappineers. Um, I'm part of their membership and you can find the link to them in the description below. And I just thought that looked pretty cool. I didn't want to have the straight edge paper there. I wanted more of a tear. And then next I thought, well, I need another layer of paper behind this photo. So then I found another kind of nautical theme paper and used that celadon green on that paper. Next, well, it needs something behind the photo still. And what do I think when I think nautical? I think of a fishing net. So I found a fishing net file online and I just got rid of the background so you could see through to the papers. And I kind of like that fishing net there. 
Next, I was thinking, what else could I add? I think the photo needs a mat. So I chose a mat and I chose the khaki green color for the mat. Next, I chose to add something around the photo. It needs something to cluster around. And I thought, what else is nautical? And it came to me, well, the dock posts. So I found some dock posts online and added those. Added another one here. Added another one on that side. Then I thought, okay, well, I need something here and I'm thinking anchor. Anchor is part of a nautical theme. So I chose this cute little anchor here. It was just a plain brown kind of horizontal line texture on it. And I wanted it to be more of a rust. So if I show you a close up here of that anchor, You can see it has a rust texture to it. Um, that is a texture that I got off wdexplorer.com. I'll leave the link below in the description if you want to check that out. They have a lot of different textures for Photoshop. Then let's just reduce this back. Okay. Then I thought I need something else down here. So I found some washi. So I added a piece there with a nautical theme on it. Then I thought, you know, I'm still not really liking this background. So I thought I'd play around with some of the other colors on the background. So I tried I got rid of the wood grain and first I tried the celadon green color and that's that's okay that's not bad tried the mustard mustard doesn't really do anything for the photo I tried the khaki green and I no no it just blends into the picture I still like the wood grain but I don't really like this white here but anyway I I need to move on and maybe something will come to me to fix this background okay then I want to add something up here in this corner area something to lead you on to the page so I chose this cute little ship's wheel thought that's pretty good there then we need something else up here yet but I'm not sure what exactly so I'm gonna keep moving I think here I need to start layering under my photo to cover up some of that fish netting because that's a little too much so I chose next to go with this circle this paper circle here that adds a bit i kind of like that idea then i thought this is still not quite right down here it's it still feels kind of empty and i thought well i like so those cute little flag banners so i found this really cute nautical themed banner and put it under the photo. Now that's looking more how I want it to look. So we'll go with that. Then I'm looking up in this top corner again and I thought well maybe put something on top of that ship's wheel and I found the cute cutest little anchor flare. So we added that. Now it needs a bit more layers yet in the corner. So, still need a little more in that corner, but I'm not sure yet. And I found this cute little piece 
of ephemera with ahoy on it. So I put that under the photo. That is kind of building up the layers under here. And I like that. I like the way that's looking. Now I kind of think something's missing here because you go from the corner and then here it kind of needs something up here. It's a little bare. So I found a little flag that could go there. And now we still need to fill this top corner. And looking around, I found this little piece here. Thought that was really cute. And something else. This little flag here because I kind of spread out the colors a bit so you can see some mustard here on the flags some mustard on this paper and then following up to here some mustard on this flag and then we've got some khaki here we've got some khaki on this circle and on the picture mat so that's looking good Next, I want to fill in this area here because I don't, I still don't need this much fish netting. So I put this little paper embellishment in behind there. Then right now I'm kind of thinking, okay, I need a space for my title. I don't want to cover up where I'm going to put the title. And I'm thinking down here might be a good place. So I added my title in, Wicked Tuna, that's the name of the TV show. Now I'm thinking, I like that washi there, but I kind of want to carry it up to the corner. And I think I need something here, and then maybe something behind this flag. So I'm thinking of that washi. Yeah, that works there. And then what if I add washi behind this flag? I'm liking that because it's carrying this pattern through here, here, and then down here. All right, that's looking good. Now we need something else. Thinking maybe something got to fill in here because I'm still thinking there's too much fishing net. So maybe a journal card and a quote um, from Dave Marciano, which is the captain of the hard merchandise. So I found this cute little journal card and I typed up a quote, better than a sharp stick in the eye. <laughs> I like that. And then I thought, okay, where am I gonna put the journaling? <clears throat> so then, kind of want the journaling here but then you know I'm still not liking this brushed background then I thought well we'll get rid of that but I still do kind of like the whitewash effect so I changed it and I covered the entire background piece with a off-white brush on top of it and I kind of like that that kind of calms it down a little because I didn't like the starkness of the wood um, it was a little too dark so I just brought it up with the white over top and I'm liking that I'm really liking that then I need to go back to my journaling I want to add it down at the bottom here so I created a block but I didn't want it to be a solid block. I wanted it to be a, a little bit see-through like a vellum. So I just moved the opacity down so you can still see the wood grain through it. And I added my journaling. Now I'm still not quite finished. Um, I think something needs to be here. I don't like that bit of fishnet there. I like it over here, but not on this side. So I found this really adorable lighthouse. And this part up here, I just added a lens flare because it had just solid color up here. 
and I wanted to show that it had a light on. So I added that lens flare there and I'm really liking this page now, but there's just, there's w something missing. It just doesn't look complete. So I decided to add, it needs something. And I'm thinking the squiggly lines. Perfect. Now it feels like a finished layout. And yeah, I'm happy with it and it's done. So let's go look back at the CSI clues and let's see what I included. First thing, wood grain. I included a light in the lighthouse. I included an animal. Well, I didn't include the animal. The animal is in the photo, the big tuna. So that's included. Next clue is string because I kind of added that string fishnet. Then houses, other architectural elements. That's the lighthouse. Flags under the picture. Dashed lines. If we look back here, we've got some dashed lines on this little flag here. And next, distressing. If you look closely, this page is kind of distressed, this paper here. Kind of little speckles here, a bit of speckles there, a little bit of distressing, not a whole lot. And my whitewashing kind of brush effect on here, I kind of think that's a distressed kind of look. Then we also had shine because of the lens flare that I put on the lighthouse here. So really I included quite a lot of evidence and I did include a piece from the testimony. On to the next challenge. Hope you enjoyed this process video. Like I said, if you want to know more about digital scrapbooking, just leave me some comments below and I will do some more videos on that. And if you have any questions, just leave them below. If you like what you see, just click subscribe and click on the bell and you'll be notified of any new videos that I'm doing. And we'll see you on the next process video. Thanks for watching.